Today we're going to have a look at the northwest shelf of Australia and look at the Pavo 1 well which is drilling as we record this video. Now uh, for those who haven't been out that way, Australia is a big place. It takes about four hours to fly from one side to the other, a lot longer if there happens to be a headwind. And Pavo is in uh, the northwest shelf. So we can see that in between the North Carnarvon Basin and the Browse Basin we've got the Roebuck Basin and we're going to look at the uh, Badu um, sub-basin. Here's a map of the northwest shelf and we can see that the oil uh, here in the green dots tends to be landward of the gas fields and gas uh, discoveries into the deeper parts of the basin. This is in the uh, Carnarvon Basin if we go on up through the, the Browse and into the Bonaparte Basin. Slightly different story up in the Bonaparte and here as we get into the Sahul Trough, the Kelp High sort of region we find here's laminaria and uh, obviously gassy basins so there's a picture here now today where we're looking is we're basically looking here just to the east of Dorado or southeast of Dorado at a couple of wells that's drilling down there now on this map it has numbers for the size of these things they are reported to be estimated original oil in place so these are resources sizes and they're not reserves Here's a cross-section of the Bedo um, sub-basin. It's basically a very thick Triassic sequence. In the centre it measures up to five to six kilometres, underneath a tertiary and Cretaceous Jurassic section. The Triassic is a deltaic mega-sequence of interbedded sandstones and shales. It's really its own uh, petroleum system. It's got source reservoir, seal and traps within it and when the oils are tight they're found to be very different to all the other oils that are found up and down the northwest shelf. What's most interesting in here is we can see these more structural traps here at Phoenix and Phoenix South and to a lesser extent here in the the Cayley at, at Rock 1, Rock 2 but uh, what we're going to be looking at today is this sort of feature here. So this is the Dorado play and uh, essentially there's this major down cutting event or so these incised features here and this is setting up a sort of stratigraphic trap which is uh, within the Cayley sandstone member and it's the uh, these shales are forming both the, the top and the side seal for this trap. So we'll have a look at some of these fields in a little bit more detail. Now, this is a very busy slide and looks like a, a rose, but we're going to have a look. And these are all the uh, different identified plays in the region. The uh, original uh, discovery in the area was actually made by BP back in 1980, and it was at Phoenix. Uh, they drilled the Phoenix 1 and 2 well. Now, there was some oil in some tight Triassic sands, and it was kind of assessed, and eventually uh, BP walked away from this. Uh, it was not until 2014 that Apache came in here and drilled Phoenix South. Now, Phoenix South found both oil in the Triassic and underlying found some uh, gas in the Cayley sandstones. In 2016, Quadrant came in and uh, they discovered the rock accumulation here, which is a, a gas condensate, and then they came back in 2018 and again Quadrant drilled the Dorado Discovery Well here reported to be about 160 million barrels of oil and nearly three quarters of a, a TCF, a trillion cubic feet of gas. There are two prospects that we're going to be looking at today. These are Pavo 1 and Apus 1. So it was Santos that took over Quadrant's interests or took over the company with Santos 70% equity and operator and Carnarvon Energy the other 30% who are going to drill these wells uh, in 2022. Um, Pavo is kind of operating in the reservoir as we speak. The other one will be drilling after Pavo. The grey bluish um, outlines you, you can see here are all identified prospects and leads in the area so there's still an awful lot of potential to be discovered in this region. So these wells will be very very interesting because because they will really extend the the play fairway some distance to the to the southeast if successful. Phoenix South um, shown here well the first well was basically found thin oil bearing sands here the second well, when they went through this interval, uh, they must have been quite downhearted to see that there was no oil actually in these sands. But as they came on down, found deeper oil and then seemed to tag the top of uh, a gas 
column here in the uh, Cayley sandstone. It was only uh, when the third well came down, went again through the sequence confirming the same uh, hydrocarbon distribution up here, but then proved that there was a, a significant gas column deeper in the well in the Cayley. So attention then turned to the Cayley as a, as a major play and Dorado was uh, indeed drilled and we find uh, oil and, and condensate uh, in these upper sands and as we go deeper down it's a condensate rich gas. The one well obviously found hydrocarbons in the, these sands and then a contact in the Crespin um, but then drilling on down into the mill um, encountered more um, hydrocarbons. It was the Dorado 2 then that uh, there would be no expectation to find any hydrocarbon in the, the Crespin but certainly the uh, the Milne has actually proved up a substantial hydrocarbon column in that particular sandstone. So Dorado is expected to go forward for uh, FID uh, sanction in, in second quarter of 2022. Um, it's going to be a phase development in phase one, it's going to be targeting the, the oil in these upper sands here in the Cayley. And uh, the likely development scenario is going to be a, an oil production platform uh, with a floating storage unit, a, a, a tanker that's essentially a captive tanker, with a shuttle tanker offloading and taking the, the crew to the nearest refinery. The phase one costs likely to be in excess of $2 billion. So these are major, major investments. Uh, phase two is looking at developing this uh, this gas now. That will probably require a pipeline taking gas from this field to um, an LNG plant. So on to Pavo. And as I say, it's drilling as we record. Uh, here's the location of the Pavo. And this is on the uh, the Cayley sandstone. It's a depth structure map. Pavo is basically a, a northern accumulation, the southern accumulation. Now, I did read somewhere that in the high side case, it could all be one culmination, but uh, I'm not sure. You know, this seems to be a spill point here, and in order to, to sort of join these up into one, it would actually end up uh, spilling up onto the uh, to the east here. Here's a seismic line that shows the uh, the top Cayley, and you can see this is a very, very uh, er eroded uh, section that's being picked out here. But this is what's setting up the play for, for Pavo, basically hydrocarbon trapped in the sandstones up here. It's a good distance away from Dorado, uh, the nearest discovery, that's uh, 42 kilometres away. And the expectation is it could find uh, 80 million barrels and perhaps 108 BCF of gas. That's the prospective resource size, so it's yet to be proven. This is the rig that uh, is drilling it currently. It's being drilled in 88 metres of water. And this is a 2014 uh, jack-up, the, the Noble Tom Prosser. Now, there has been a recent press release that's saying that uh, there have been good shows in the well and they are now just awaiting the logging results. So it could be just days before we see another press release with the results of this particular well. Here's the follow-on well. This is the Apis 1. And again, it's a similar play type. Here's the Cayley sandstones here coming up to this erosional event here with uh, the shale top seal and side seal setting up the trap. It's about 10 kilometers away from Pavo in similar water depths but this is actually thought to be a, a larger feature and so the prospective resource f size here is uh, 235 million barrels of oil and 400 billion cubic feet of gas so again another well that we will be watching and we'll be reporting on here on Trove News. People ask where do we get the information from? How can we put these videos out so quickly? Well, the answer is we've done the decades of research on all of these opportunities. And here we're showing examples from the Northwest Shelf, the Perth Basin and the Bass Basin. And you can see that we have all this information in our Trove databases. So all we need to do is, is dip in and, and pick out the, the right seismic line and the right cross section, etc. In summary, Pavo and Apis, we think are very exciting wells because they would extend the play fairway. We are going to have follow-up videos coming out on this. Uh, so if you want to see how this story develops, please subscribe and ring the bell. We've got some upcoming videos in the uh, down under. Uh, we've got the Sassanoff well, which will be drilling in the Carnarvon Basin, and we'll be doing a video on that shortly. And we thought we might do um, 
we might do a video on the unlocking the Timor Gap, the Bio Undan story. And as I was the geologist for one of the companies involved with the the Bio story, um, I think it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to tell how the basin looked at the time when there wasn't any discoveries anywhere in the area. We wish Santos and Carnarvon Energy every success, and please subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, and get in touch if you want anything. And we look forward to seeing you back on the channels shortly.